What's up, you assholes? Lori Gemini Tarot. I'm gonna go ahead and give a reading for my Sagittarius's. This is gonna be for the 1st to the 15th of December, 2018. Last month of the fucking year. Thank God, right? I know you guys have been pulling teeth on this year. So let's get this shit rolling for my Sagittarius, right? So just so you know, this is a general collective reading for my Sagittarius. So this is not gonna resonate with all of y'all, okay? So some rules may apply. Reading school, vice versa. Take what applies, leave out the rest. And if this reading did not resonate with you, that's mean this reading was not meant for you, okay? This was meant for another fucking Sagittarius, so chill the fuck out, okay. So we got the two of wands here, that's good. So a lot of balance, stability. Also, you should follow me on Instagram, Lori Gemini Tarot. I post daily tarot, oracle readings, and affirmation readings, and I do live streams on there from time to time. Also, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. Don't be a dick, right? Right. So, let's get this going with my Sagis. So, 1st to the 15th of December, 2018. I know you guys are feeling pretty goddamn good. I know you guys are. Let's get this shit going, my Sagis. I'm a boom pumped. love my Sagittarius is. Okay, and one more. Okay. Now, my Sagittarius is. Overall vibe, we have the five of swords reverse Okay, so somebody said some shit that was not very cool. I feel like you, either you or somebody else burned this other person. It may have not been that bad. You know, you saw this one coming, your intuition, it was just creeping up on you. You could be dealing with, you could be dealing with a Gemini, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra. But your intuition is very strong in this one. There is some Leo. There is some Cancer in here too. It's like the blow is not that bad. Where it's like they try to screw you over and it backfired. Or you try to screw someone over and it backfired. Let's see what's going on, Saggies. Okay. Be dealing with... The, ooh, Scorpio. Okay. It's very interesting how this shit can. Okay. Holy crap. Reading like cycle. Okay. Like I said before, we saw this. Two of Wands. This is about like this balance, this unity. So shit did go down that did not work out in your favor. This was some sort of painful, traumatic experience, the tower card. This is something that you saw, your intuition. See, because there's a lot of purple in here. Okay, so your intuition on both of these cards, like you knew that shit was going down and it was bad and you still let it happen. This was ending of a, like a union. I feel like this was maybe some sort of three-party thing because there's two people walking away. It was like somebody wanted to hold all the swords and the other people were like, you're not willing to share your dick or we're bouncing out of here. This is a change. This was a change that did not work out for you. I feel like. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. Some shit went down. Maybe the shit went down during Scorpio season. We can blame it on Scorpios. No, I'm kidding. Could be dealing with a Gemini here. Okay, this is a Gemini card. 
There's strong Gemini and strong Aquarius in this reading. This is about a disunion. Somebody wanted out of the relationship. Somebody made a choice and this change was dramatic. Like this person was like, I don't wanna be with you anymore. And then they went with them, somebody else. Like they dumped you and they went for somebody else, right? And this was very traumatic. It just fucked you up. This was a force to be reckoned with, but you knew this was happening all this time. Like you knew that this wasn't gonna work out. And it was a long time coming. And this was like an ending, an ending of this marriage, of this relationship, this union. With the Knight of Swords, Gemini Aquarius, this is gonna be very swift action, very quick, very sudden. Some of you are moving forward it's like you just like put the cart in front of the horse. It's like so fucking quick. It was like somebody just said shit. And very to the point. This is what led up to this. Somebody was very led up to this point. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But with the Hermit card reverse, it was like some of you are just like, I am no longer taking care of you. I feel like you may be dealing with the... For some of you, you could be dealing with um, issues pertaining to your like, like a father and son thing. There was some quick movement. I feel like you may need to take care of someone, like somebody, like an older male, like your father or something is ill. I'm hearing somebody's light is going out. The light is getting dimmer. Maybe somebody is like slowly going towards the light. Some of you are making a choice where it's like, it's like somebody wants a relationship. Somebody's tired of being single. Some of you may hear something, you're gonna receive some sort of message, some sort of, like some sort of message because of this breakup, this union, it's gonna, it's like jump starting you in order for you to get your new beginning. It's like you're tired of searching, you're soul searching for so long and you're tired and you're now jumping forward and you're jumping into this. You're jumping, balancing your life and everything together you're finally making a choice and you're finally coming out of this. Okay, Sagis. So Sagittarius, so for the 1st to the 15th of December, 2018. Let's get some clarification. Okay, that was very precise. Ace of Cups brand new this is like a beginning it's like you still love this person this union like you still love this person you are looking for a new love you are looking for this new beginning it may not be with this individual i'm getting more of the sense that you're ready you're ready to start looking for love that's what i'm getting you're starting your you're finally getting off your ass. You're jumping really quickly. Some of you may be dealing like maybe going on social media apps, um, dating sites, something like that. But you're deciding like, I don't want to be single anymore. I want to be committed. I want love. Some of you may be jumping into a new relationship, a new love. With the page of swords reversed, somebody's like, somebody's like, no, like no longer like stalking them. Um, Somebody could be like cutting him off. Somebody could be blocking someone. Yeah. 
it's like you're looking for new love, new beginning, but you're not getting it. It's like when you first like you start putting yourself out there, you feel like it's crickets, like you're not getting any communication. And with the seven of wands, it's like you got to be patient, you know, and just look, it's like um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's like, don't panic. You look at that. Don't panic. Don't think that like you're never going to find love or anything. Because eventually you're going to feel like you're going to be waiting. But I think for some of you, you're going to be trying these dating sites. And you're not going to find the commitment that you're looking for. You're not going to find someone that shares the same values as you. I think you're going to be finding people that just kind of want hookups. And I get the feeling like that's not really what you're looking for. You want love. You don't want a fling. I'm sure that made sense for someone. Okay. Okay, now let me go ahead and give you a reading for my woo, singles. So this is going to be for Sagittarius for my singles for the 1st to the 15th of December 2018. So this is anybody that is like mama and me single, right? So anybody that's like not looking for love, you're not putting yourself out there, you're just like a single, like you're just like a cat lady, whatever it is, you know, this reading is for you. Okay, so single, single, single. Single, all the single mamas, all the single mamas, right? So, all the single saggies, all the single saggies. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, the universe wants me to stop singing. Okay, they're like, copyright, bitch. Okay. All right, saggies. Okay. Okay. You got very precise messages. Okay. Message one, detox, drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, and throw some shit out. Fucking pack rats, too. Drop that fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Three, ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Help people. Give back. Do good shit for humanity. You're giving away your power. You are at. You are a badass. Act like it. Show your fucking teeth. And finally, take a shot. Don't take 12. Take one. Okay, maybe two. Move on. Okay. Now, this reading is going to be for my couples. Okay. Couples, 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 couples. So this is going to be anybody that's married and a relationship, whether it's long-term, short-term, friends with bennies, fuck buddies, dating loosely, dating exclusively, you know, monogamous or polyamorous, whatever the fuck it is. If it's not mom on me, single, this reading is for you. So this is going to be for my couples couple for my Sagittarius's. Okay, these cards are just really popping out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so message one, forgive, not for them. Do that shit for you. You're on the same team. Play like it. Sit back and relax. Oral love is in your future. Yeah, praise Allah for that shit, right? Oh my God. It has like a stipulation. If you can't do that, then I'm sorry. I don't know you and you are blocked. And open your mouth. Talk, use big words like validate, acknowledging, acknowledge and emphasize, right? I can eventually read. Don't let it all hang out. Leave some shit to the imagination, right? Don't be a slutty whore, bitch. And finally, spend time with Bay. Make art, love, or music. Okay. Awesome, Saggies. Thank you for watching. If this reading resonated with you, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. Also, follow me on Instagram, Lori Gemini Tarot. I love you, Saggies. You guys are awesome. And rock out, motherfuckers.